Oh boy. I got a Thanksgiving rain spell going on. Look at that. One last wet boat day before I get my windows in. <laughs> All these windows are missing and we're just pissing water, man. I mean, like, this is totally wet got on the camera it got all over the nav station I think it might have gotten on my oh yeah oh yeah that's on my computer oh my god look at that this is ridiculous what if it doesn't break it okay it's still on that's all I care about this sucks and also here pissing water from here and this is dripping because the mass is pissing because this spar tight needs to be changed but, thank God, what is this? New Spartite! Oh my God, James, you did something right! Yeah, this is a good time to see what's all leaking on the boat. These, oh shit, crap. Oh, this is filling up with water now. This is what's, what's happening. Not cool, dude. Oh no, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, guys. My name is James Evenson. I'm a mechanic, a musician, and a round the world sailor. Four years ago, I'd sold everything and made some interesting life choices. I bought a catamaran, built a hardtop, sailed to Cuba, painted shark's teeth on the front of the cat, lost a rudder, built a rudder in a shed, lost the other rudder, built a rudder on the beach, dressed in drag, made coffee in a sock, dressed in drag again, sailed to Easter Island, sank the dinghy, sailed to Pitcairn, sank the dinghy again, sailed to French Polynesia, sank the dinghy one more time, got a new dinghy. I meant to do that. Sailed to Hawaii. Shipwrecked in Hawaii. Rode the catamaran down the street at 3 o'clock in the morning. Wrote some magazine articles. Started a Kickstarter campaign. Flew to Curacao. And now, I'm finally grinding my way back to life on the water and my next adventure. What is up, people? A special announcement. Guess who came oh, to man. visit? This Holland is guests. Voss and Max. Uh, and they came down here for how long are you here for? Uh, till Saturday. Till Saturday. So like, Saturday. Like, like a week. Just yeah. to like meet me and help me out, yeah. and do the bring windows, a, drink the diplomatico. Oh, that's so awesome of you bring guys! The like they brought waffles. me, they brought me, they brought me rum. They brought me little, these waffles are like super, super Dutch, and they're so good. They're uh, one of the best Dutch treats in my look, opinion. And coffee. Coffee. Oh. Oh, and morning. <laughs> Dude, you saved me. I'm out of coffee. I'm oh, really? The, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, great. Brought more. Yeah. Oh, that was nice of you guys. Okay, so um, we're going to be doing some windows this week, and uh, you're going to be very, very needed help. You're going to love it. Oh, Thank you very yeah. much. That's why we're here, man. Awesome, dude. Great. That's so cool. I have good such a good life. Here. So, this part of the frame is going to have to be repainted because you can see that from inside. There'll be a frame here, and then this, this piece will butt up against that piece. So, as long as they're the same color and consistently painted, then it doesn't matter. Little imperfections, people don't notice that. All these things come apart and they've got screws and the screws will probably seize and then this will seize and then it's just way too much work to do it that way. Just rough it up, take some 220, paint the thing and then be done with it. Now you have windows that don't leak. What's up, people? Okay, so today's Sunday. We have the boatyard pretty much to ourselves and we're gonna take advantage of it by painting all of the windows. This is a huge job. So Hein and I have been prepping these windows and we're almost done. We just need to do like maybe two more and then we can, we can paint. Show us how you're prepping these, bud. What we're trying to do is just get all the 5200 off of it and then clean up any areas that got a little bit of um, electrolysis from the stainless steel bolts that were in here. It looks like all of the, the, these frames that are on the outside, these are all the outer frames, are in pretty good shape still. They're pretty hefty. The glass is super thick. It's really thick. So they're pretty heavy. So we're just gonna mask the windows off and then spray paint the inside because you can see this when the, when the window's installed from the inside of the boat and the outside here after you get a little bit of sandpaper on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a lot of this acetone, the acetone will clean all this up. This is the scaffolding we're gonna use. We're gonna hang the windows from here with some lock wire that I have. We'll just time to that and we'll put this thing over there against that wall. That way we can just uh, not spray any of, any of these other boats. This is a little too close to these boats for comfort if we did it here. These ones are all prepped and then this one needs to be prepped. These are the real pain in the ass because they have two pieces. This one opens up. 
So if you open if you open up this lip, uh, it's actually the four surfaces that need to be prepped on the, on here. But this will this will be what it looks like when it's done, when it's ready to go. This is ready to be painted. Cool. Yeah. And these hinges look look good. So we're just gonna paint these black too. It's not gonna be new, but it'll look pretty good. Yeah, nice job prepping these, Brad. They, they look really nice. You really got all the stuff off of them. Cool, I'm excited. I'm gonna start hanging these up. Action, go. Okay, here's all the old hatches that I took off. Um, the boat's getting there. It's getting cleaned up. The bimini's up. All of these are covered by plastic. This hatch is out. It's just covered in plastic because we were waiting to get these, but that's new, that's new. Boom, boom. This one's gonna be new, and this one's the new one in here. We're gonna have all new hatches and all new windows. I didn't really mean for this job to get this big. All I wanted to do is make sure it didn't leak on the way to Florida. What I should have done in retrospect is just put in some of this like roofers tape on all the windows and probably left because this is a pain in the ass and it's expensive here and it's hard to get stuff. But at the same time, I'm gonna be done with this part. So everything will be waterproof and the boat will be a lot safer and more comfortable. And it's just one of those things that had to happen. So after this fix and the through holes are in, then I can go in the water and then I can get out of here. But some things just have to be done, you know, and they have to be done the right way. Okay, it is Tuesday afternoon, 11 o'clock, and I've got Vaughn and Max, they're at the store right now buying some um, anthracite bedding compound for the windows. Anthracite being the color, kind of more of like a gray black. They didn't have black, so whatever, man. I wonder if I should take the paint off of there. Ooh, I just thought about that. I, sh I probably should. Damn, I just added so much time to my work. Okay, check this out. This is what I'm thinking. Okay, so the, the frames are painted. They look pretty good. There's a little bit of... Um, uh, Hein did this at night, and uh, he was a little overzealous. A lot of this, though, is just pitting from the metal. This paint, I'm thinking, that got on the window sills, we shouldn't have painted the inside of the windowsill. That's gonna have to come off. We should have taped that off. That was stupid because now the, the stuff is gonna stick to this and it, the, that stuff can just rip right off because it's just paint. And the windows are gonna leak. You dumbass. But at least it's just on the insides. Like, it's not on the outside. This is the inside and here's the outside. So the outside would be fine. That'll, that'll stay. They look way better. And actually, I have it on the boat in the sun so you can see it. Pretty boat. Okay, so that's the window now. This is uh, a lot better than it was, man. Before it was really faded and nasty. And yeah, there's a bunch of imperfections if you look really close, but who's gonna look that close? Nobody's gonna look that close. So this is head height. So it's just gonna look nice. That's what's going on. I'm gonna take the, uh, the paint off of those window sills and then get them all fitted and ready and then we're gonna fit them today. That's awesome, that's a good day. Right now, we're having to repaint the windows again. <laughs> so painting them a third time just sounds stupid, but what, what we did was we forgot to mask off the interior. Uh, can you point to that? That is the inside lip where the adhesive needs to go on and Max is taking the paint off. <laughs> And what he's doing is, because that wire wheel sucks, it's uh, it's hitting the, the inside corner right here. And so now we're going to have to mask it off, which means putting putting tape on the window again to uh, respray. Yeah. Doing the job again, because we did a sh job last time. But it's kind of one of those learning experiences, right? Okay, so this is the point in boating where you can either do it right or just do it kind of good, you know? Like you screw a little piece up and you either redo the job to do it right or... You just put it in there kind of fun. 
backed up. And you can tell a lot about the, the previous owner if you find too many of those repairs on your boat. <laughs> What's up? So this is the first use of my phone camera gimbal that Voss and Max brought for me. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, let's see if it works. Take you on a little tour of the boat. Oh, 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 it's already not working. There we go. Well, this is cool. It's like a little handheld job. It's kind of a cool view. Did you guys do something right? Oh my god, you're so dirty. <laughs> I love it. Thanks for working, man. I just man. washed my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get some more spray paint, yeah? Uh, probably. Okay, okay. Well, let's not spray paint anywhere near this boat. Let's do it over here. Did you get all of them on? No, there's no, one there's still one, off. Two, and upstairs is the third one. Awesomely done. Dude, having you guys here is so nice. I can't imagine. The last things to do are build the rudder. I'm sorry, that's not a rudder, that's a propeller. Build the propeller, put the propeller on there, fill it with grease, find two more bolts for this thing, put the through holes in, good to go after the windows are in. I think I'm gonna start on the through holes while you boys are doing this. See if this turned out okay. If it did, maybe I'll just keep this little bastard. This one's <laughs> way lighter than my other one, dude. That's great. Yeah, that's cool. Look, you want to try? Oh, it moves like... Those things and are nice. Oh, that's great. If you want to, yeah. Oh, Those Max. Those things can be real expensive. Oh, that's great. Isn't that cool? Whoa, that's neat, dude. <laughs> okay, so I need to fix this wood before I can put the front windows in. The boys are at the store getting the window adhesive, and once they get back, I'll have them take a sanding wheel and, and grind the uh, paint off of the ceiling surface of the window, and then they can bring them up and prep the window uh, on the boat with acetone and get everything ready to go. And then uh, I'm going to fix this in the meantime. So this is going to be like finish carpentry, carpentry stuff. And uh, got to tell you, this is like my second time doing this. So uh, fingers crossed, boys. <laughs> I need to replace this piece of um, wood. I might have to replace the whole thing. It's, a, it's one piece of wood from here, here, here and here and it goes down about that far so I'm, i i probably have to take this off drill the bungs out get the screws off take it out put a new piece of wood in and then screw, screw everything back together and then refinish revarnish this piece 24 millimeters so 24 millimeters thick means i need the plywood alone is 19 18 and a half millimeters I'll say 18 millimeters. 18 millimeter plywood. Okay, brother, what are we doing? In English, perfect English, go. Nothing at all. <laughs> that was really good English. <laughs> we are doing something. We're trying to get wood. We cannot find 5 8 plywood, so I can't fix that part that's rotten in the center window there. There's only one place on the island that sells it, I hear. So we're going there. It's called Koiman Superstore. <laughs> What do you think the chances are that they have it here? Big like this. <laughs> I don't like the sound of those chances. <laughs> well, I'm hoping there's one more store that might have it. And if no one has it, then I'm gonna have to, I don't know, man, maybe like glue a couple together or something. Yeah, but this isn't 5 8 That's quarter inch. That's quarter inch. This is 15, 30 seconds. I don't, they don't have 5 eighths though. Okay, this is what they do have, PVC panel. And uh, I think this would work. This is 15 millimeters, whereas like a fi uh, 5 eighths is actually 16 millimeters, but I can build it up just a little bit. And I don't know if one millimeter is gonna really matter. <laughs> do you guys think that would work? Let me know, thanks. Two hours later. Without a definitive answer on whether or not um, epoxy will stick to it, I don't really want to use that PVC lumber. Plus, you know, I've got like 100,000 people watching these videos. I want to do it right, dude. It's going to be documentation for when I sell it. If I use different something else other than what's supposed to be used and it doesn't stick well or it doesn't do well, I'm just going to have to do it again for a third time. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think my best bet is just to get it to Florida and then pull that window out and have to replace that whole piece of plywood with actual 5 8 marine ply. I, I've never used that PVC board other than to make my hard top, and I, I don't know, man, it, it compresses a lot. And gluing it together with PVC glue 
not a good idea on a boat. This thing is flexing. Every time you hit a wave, the mass wants to go forward and it pulls on the chain plates and it pulls the boat, boat in and it's squeezing in on that and the sheer strength of that stuff is not that great. Yeah, it's great for gluing PVC to PVC together, but PVC to, to epoxy or, or thickened epoxy or maybe even fiberglass, I don't know if that'll actually work. Without, without a really good way, I think I'm just gonna button it back up. It sucks that I can't get it. Wanna move my feet. Wanna drop my one. 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 All right, boys, we got this window in. I'm just gonna kind of leave it all spoogy like that and cut it tomorrow, I think. I don't know really how to clean this up well with this silicone-based stuff, but we got enough of these. And then this one's in and it's all cleaned up. So it looks nice. I mean, it needs to be cleaned up, but they look way better than they did before and they're not gonna leak water. That's so much sealant, dude. That's like almost a whole tube of sealant in there. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but I'm gonna replace all the screws so I don't have all of them in. We, we just went like every other one. And then I'll rebed the screws with butyl tape, I think. Good job, boys. Okay.